Class, before we go to our next page, let's look at our word study. Remember, we have a few different rules about things we have to do when we're adding suffixes. All right, we've got our, can anyone tell me one of our rules? All right, we've got our one, one, one rule. If our word is one syllable, it ends with one vowel and then one consonant, what do we do for our one, one, one rule? All right, we have to double the last consonant. So like for if we want to write skipping, we have to write our base word and then we double that last consonant, that p, and then we add our suffix. All right, so that's one of our rules. We also have one for if our word ends with a silent final e. If we want to add a vowel suffix and our word ends with a silent final e, what do we have to do, class? We have to drop that silent final e. So those are two rules. We're not using either of those rules today, but let's look at this word study. We have to use our third rule that we do when we're adding suffixes. What's that rule besides the one, 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 one and the silent final e rule? Look at what we have at the end. Oh, we have a single y. All right. If we want to add a suffix to a word that ends with a single Y, what do we trade that Y for? Good, we have to trade it for an I. All right, so let's go to our Y exchange page, which is 20. We've already seen this with a few words. Um, hopefully we'll get used to it and then we won't even have to think about it when we do. We'll just remember, oh, I need to do my Y exchange. All right, so we'll start by writing our base word study right there in our very first column, right? And mark study. All right, pause the video if you're not finished. So our first syllable is what? Good, stud. And our second syllable, E, and since we're on the Y exchange page, we know it has to be the E that we do a Y exchange for, which is our Y, I-E. All right, so this is our base word. If I want to write studied, let's see, first let's see how many syllables are in studied. Studied, show me how many syllables. Good, there are two syllables. All right, so we're going to write our base word just the way that it is, except we're going to trade this for what? Good, we're going to trade our Y for an I. Okay, and then we're going to add, what do we need to add to make study into studied? Good, we're going to add our ed, d, t, past tense ending. So go ahead and on your next line here, write studied and mark it. All right, so our first syllable is still what? And our first syllable is still stud in studied. All right, but we trade our Y for what? Good, an I. And now what do we need to add? Good, ed, d, t, past tense ending. Okay. So once more, just like when this says E, it gets a three. When our it, IE says E, it gets a three on top as well. And then this is saying, which of its sounds? Let's see, ed, d, t. Good, it's saying its second sound. All right, studied. All right, in the last column, we're going to write studies. Studies, so once again, we're going to do our Y exchange. Then our suffix, remember whenever we want to add S and we're doing the Y exchange, we can't add just S. What do we have to add? All right, good, we have to add ES and that E is silent. All right, so our first syllable is the same. We'll do our Y exchange, then we'll add our silent E and then our S. So go ahead and write studies in your third column.
All right, so I'm going to have to come down here because I actually maybe I can fit it in. All right, our first syllable is still stud. That one's not changing. We do our Y exchange. And we can't just add S, we have to add what? The silent E and then S. All right, see if you got all these markings. All right, so that is our Y exchange rule. Let's see, but let's, um, let's see. Actually, we'll come back and do that later. Um, right now, let's go to the back of our book and let's start, go to page 74 and 75 where we have our ers. Our ers. Class, which er do we use in herd, the past tense of here? Which er is that? You might remember because you, you heard with your ear, it looks like it has the word ear in it. Yep, so it's our er, the er of early. All right, your next line in er, the er of early, go ahead and write herd and mark it. Class, which er do we use in this kind of herd? Good, er the er of early. Good, let's go to our next page where we have our A's. Because we also learned the word state yesterday. State. Which A do we use in state, class? Good, we use a, a, a. How do we make it say A? Silent final E job one, of course. Go to your next free line. Write in state and mark it. All right, and I hope we're remembering when we're marking our words, we always start at the beginning. Um, cause some, otherwise we just mark that. Some of us just like to just mark that silent final E when we write it. And that is not what we want. Cause we want to remember what that E is doing, why it's there. All right, good. We have heard and state. All right, class, we'll have another video or two and I will see you then.